Hey there, this is Atul from Team K29 Academy and in this video I'm here to invite you for roughly around 90 minute plus minus 15 minute based on the number of questions I get a class or a completely free class on how to get a dollar to 50,000 plus job building AI agents in less than six months even as a, a beginner and I'm going to give you the whole path for you to build go from complete beginner in order to become an expert and this video I'm going to explain what you can expect in that free class also below this video there'll be a link to register for this free class and when you register and you stay till end I'm going to give you this whole uh, roadmap path learning path etc that will help you to not only understand and become an expert but earn a lot of money so who this class is for first as, as I said someone who's already working IT and would like to upskill in AI or generative AI uh, agentic AI, AI automations and so on. Or someone who is uh, not into IT would like to enter into IT with these skill sets. We're going to focus and mainly focus for four type of uh, individuals. Someone who's already working and earning a lot of money and want to upskill further to get 250k thousand plus or these are brackets, uh, these salary ranges depending on where, what your background is. It's targeted for someone who's an architect, technical program manager, project managers, developer, administrator, support, uh, MLOps, administration, security professionals who want to build in this, uh, build a career as well. So what we're going to learn, we'll begin with first of all, why you should be learning agentic AI or AI in general, and then agentic AI. We're going to look at the future growth potential, which is huge, and why what everyone is saying about this agentic AI is as well. We'll also look at the jobs available, and we're going to look at primarily four or five countries, but then you can, Will, uh, will help you in uh, looking at the jobs related to AI, agentic AI within your country as well. Then we'll, as I said, we're going to focus on these six or seven type of job roles. I want you to uh, let me know also bring or come with your questions, what questions you have specific to, uh, to you. And then if you're of the category others, H, do let me know about in the comment section as well and saying what is the primary objective you want to become so that we can help you in learning this. So we'll look at the job roles, some of the types about technical project manager, program managers, architect, developers, administrators, QA, testers, as well as a business analyst as well. Also, we will look at what are the salaries you can expect, including what exactly you need to learn. We'll give you the whole path, whole life cycle, including the mastery program in order to go from a complete beginner. There are five phases, including hands-on lab and the project work which you should be doing. So we'll begin with foundation. What are the, uh, the basic concepts you need to learn? We'll give some idea about these to understand you and what all things you should be learning in that conceptually as well. We'll look at things like LLMs, uh, what are the different LLM providers which you should be focusing and working on, which are hugely in demand. Also things like prompt engineering, RAG, and then we go, once you understand lag, RAG and uh, prompt engineering and RAG and length and other things as well, then we are going to look at what exactly agent means. That's a phase two, which is agent. And within agent, different type of agents, agent patterns, length chain, multi-agent framework. And in, within that, we'll look at length graph, Crew AI and Microsoft Autogen. These are the quite famous, uh, the uh, multi-agent uh, patterns that you're available as well. Then we are going to actually also look at low code, no code. A lot of guys who come into the program uh, in, inside and learn that they're not a developer. Also, agent AI is not just for developer. Of course, it will be good to have the Python knowledge. But if you're an architect or project manager, technical program manager, project managers, I can't, we can't expect you to have or like someone like me to have the coding or programming knowledge. So again, we'll give you that complete Python or we'll help you where you can get hold of that complete Python programming. But if you're someone like me who have no coding or development experience, we'll look at things like N8N, Crew AI, Crew AI, Make, and other tools as well, which are available for low code, no code platforms as well. We'll also look at Bedrock from AWS and uh, AI Foundry, sorry, AI Foundry from Microsoft Azure Cloud on as a tool as well. And we're going to build some projects or what all projects you should be doing. Then we're going to go into the next phase, which is a more advanced uh, AI agents, multi-agent frameworks and deployment of uh, more advanced workflows as well. And then finally, deployment and management, what you should be doing from, there's another uh, uh, framework, which is Lang, or platform, which is Langsmith, Langsmith um, and then there's a Langfuse as well, which you should be learning as well. And then I'll tell you what projects you should be performing. Uh, as a bonus, so this will be good enough. As a bonus, how do you deploy them on cloud or what are the uh, uh, agent tools on AWS Cloud, Azure Cloud, and Google Cloud will be looking at that as well. And that's when I'll be giving you two options to learn and go deeper with me. One is agent AI mastery or 
also the second option which is a three step framework which we cover which will tons and tons of uh, reviews and, and excellent feedback and results will go and talk about uh, how do you become an expert on ai in machine learning data science ml ops agent ki everything that you need to know in order to become an expert three step framework we'll talk about including certification so if you want to get it hold of 250k thousand plus job which is totally doable tons and tons of guys are doing that as well so we'll show that as well so if you're not confident so we'll take you from not confident to make you super confident or if you're applying for the interview calls but not getting interview calls what you need to do to get interview calls or if you're appearing in the interviews but not able to crack those interviews what you should be doing we'll bring and share some of the stories like Shrija was struggling to get a job in Canada to then or he was work she's working on DevOps but looking to upscale on AI ML got a job in AI ML as well in Canada or Roni not confident to super confident or SJ who doubled her salary or Eunice um, on getting jobs and we have tons and tons of success stories as well so come we'll talk about this ML ops mastery hands-on lab and project you should be doing for uh, ML ops and also containers and camp Kubernetes, which is the deployment, which is the second part for administrators, DevOps professionals as well. So we learn, including project managers. I have tons and tons of guys who got a result on this, uh, on, on learning this. So it's absolutely free. The link should be below this video. And we can bring your questions as well. And one of the common questions I come across is, hey, do I need to be coder or developer? Now, having a development knowledge or a Python knowledge is helpful, but not mandatory for someone like me who's an architect or an uh, project manager, technical program managers, and so on. Having just a knowledge of libraries or frameworks within uh, or will be useful, but not required for you. So understand how those uh, agents are built um, from from a from a coding or development point of view. But you're not developing the code like that. We'll be bringing bring you more questions like that as well. And if you're wondering who am I, and if you don't do coming this or watching this video first time. My name is Atul. I have close to two and a half decade of IT experience. I've upskilled and worked with some of these uh, banks, telecoms, financial institutes, and big government agencies here in the UK, but also worked with clients in US, Middle East, all remotely as well. Um, uh, as well. Now, I've gone from, I've seen everything right from, I started, as I said, two and a half decades back, earning less than $100 a, a month to gone from moving to UK, working 425 pounds a day to 500, 700, 900 thousand. Now I charge a lot of money for my consulting services as well. So how I did it and how you can do all those things I'm going to cover inside this free class. So check out the link below uh, so you can register absolutely free and we look forward to see you. There are a lot of goodies as well after this. Once you attend the class, a lot of useful information will also be coming. So check the description below for link to register for this free class. I'll see you in this free class soon. Take care and bye for now.